Hi everyone, so welcome back to Codera. In this video, we'll discuss the problem B, odd grasshopper from the latest code forces round 753 rated for division 3. So the problem says that the grasshopper is located on the numeric axis at the coordinate x0. Okay, so the grasshopper is uh, located at the coordinate x0 and he is uh, having having nothing else to do he starts jumping between integer points on the x axis so he is jumping and since there is only one dimension so he is jumping in the x axis and uh, making a jump from a point with coordinate x with a distance d to the left uh, moves uh, moves the grasshopper to a point with the coordinate uh, with the coordinate x minus d so supposingly that if he is at the coordinate x and uh, uh, if that coordinate is given to be odd then what he will do is he will take a jump of x plus d and if that if that particular coordinate is uh, even then he will take a jump of x minus d and what is d we will cover this once we move ahead so the grasshopper is very fond of positive integers so for each integer i starting with uh, one the following holds exactly i minutes after the start he makes a jump with a distance exactly i so in the first minute he jumps by one in the second he jumps by two so there are uh, basically there will be minutes that will be going on and in the first minute he will take a jump of one in the second he will take a jump of two uh, whether he will take a jump of uh, one uh, i uh, for a particular uh, for the particular ith minute whether he will take a jump uh, towards the left or towards the right that will depend on the current value of x so what does it mean uh, let me come to this test case so there is a test case let's say 10 and 10 and the output for that is coming out to be 11 so let us see this test case so that the problem is much more clear so uh, if i have to uh, tell you in short so what the problem says is that currently let's say we are at x okay so if we are at x and that x comes out to be even if that x comes out to be even then what you will be doing is your new position will be nothing but x minus i okay for the ith minute and uh, this is the ith minute okay for a ith minute this will happen and if that that x is odd the current position that you are at if it is odd then you will simply do a x plus i so the new position will be nothing plus x plus x plus i and initially it is begin given that x is equal to x naught right so this is what has been stated in the problem now let us look at the test case so let's suppose that uh, your uh, given value x naught is equal to 10 which is uh, in uh, equal to x that the x that will be changing for our answer now another thing n is given to be 10 okay so in the first minute what will happen let let us now try and run this test case like how we can solve for this test case let us try and observe some patterns from this test case so what can happen is let's say uh, initially i am at 10 okay once i am at 10 so what i can do is since this 10 is what for the the ith minute the value of i for this 10 is nothing but 1 right so since the value is 1 uh, so what will happen this value w means that i is 1 but my uh, this value 10 that is x is 10 so it since it is even so i'll decrease it by 1 because if it is even so i'll move to x minus i which is 9 after this what i will do is after this what i will do is i will see what is the value of i so i is now 2 so now since my x is 9 so what i will do is i'll move towards the right and now i'll be at 11 okay now i am at 11 from this 11 i can see my i now will be 3 for the third minute and since it is odd so i'll again add 3 to it so 11 plus 3 will give me 14 right now i'll i'll be at what i'll be at i is equal to nothing but 4 so when i'll be at i is equal to 4 so what will happen since this is this is what this is nothing but even so since this is even so i'll do 14 minus 4 which will again bring me to 10 right so you can see one thing let me just draw it a bit more clear so that uh, you can understand let me change the color so i is equal to 1 i is equal to 2 after i is equal to 3 and this is after i is equal to 4 right now let's check for i is equal to 5 so once i am checking for i is equal to 5 so what will happen since this value is 10 so now it will move to 5 right and again now you will see uh, now my i value will be nothing but 6 right when it is 6 so i will move from 5 to 11 right because this is odd and i'll add 6 to it it will become 11 now my i is nothing but 7 right once my i is 7 what i will do is 
once my i will be 7 so i'll do nothing but uh, i'll add 7, 7 to it and this will become nothing but 18 now my i will be nothing but 8 since my i is 8 and uh, my value for x is currently 18 so what will happen nothing uh, nothing uh, will uh, much will happen uh, the same thing will remain that since it is even so what you will do you will move towards the uh, left that is you will decrease uh, your x by x minus i right so now you will come back to 10 so no just notice that you are coming back to 10 now let's change the value of i the i in the ninth minute uh, for i is equal to 9 what will happen since you are at 10 so that means that you will be again decreasing yourself right you will now become 11 uh, you will not become 11 you will become 1 sorry because you are you are at 10 and since the value now is uh, 10 so that means it is even so i'll i'll do this 10 minus uh, 9 that will give me 1 so now i'll move to 1 okay so this uh, one is uh, coming more towards the left from compared to this 5 now my i will be 10 in the 10th minute you can see that since i'm at 1 so i'll take a leap and i'll move to 11 right so now what do you observe so there are certain things that you need to observe if someone uh, most of the people if if they had solved this test case then it will come to you right so you can see you are coming back to the uh, same place so it is asking that after all the minutes where will you finally stand at right so you need to notice one thing that this is i is nothing but i is equal to zero right this is the starting point at the if you can see so at i is equal to four you are at 10 at i is equal to 8 you are also at 10 so just notice one thing you need to you just needed to notice a few things in this question so what i'll say is if your n if your n mod 4 in the end you need to uh, write the final position right so it depends the final position depends on nothing but the value of n that is the seconds that are changing and the final second it only depends on the final second how let's uh, let us observe from this uh, dry run that we have done so if n mod 4 gives me a 0 so that will mean that i'll be standing at the same position so uh, what i can do is i can simply print my x okay uh, then in the else if part it can happen that my n mod 4 is coming out to be 1 so let's see if my n mod n mod 4 is comes coming out to be 1 so what can happen if my n mod 4 comes out to be 1 so which what are the situations when my n mod 4 will come out to be 1 uh, so this is a situation this is another situation uh, okay and uh, this is another situation where 9 9 mod 4 is 1 uh, let me change the color so you can see uh, 4 1 mod 4 is 1 5 mod 4 is 1 uh, and uh, 1 mod 9 uh, 9 mod 4 is also 1 right so you can see in all these cases what is happening is i am moving towards the left right so what will happen uh, how much from the initial position x how much i am moving towards the left how much i am am i decreasing so i am decreasing by i that means n if n is ultimately if the last value is or uh, odd and it is 1 then what will happen i i need to simply see out nothing but x minus n right this is what i need to do there can be another case that else if suppose that my n mod 4 comes out to be 2 what if my n mod 4 comes out to be 2 so in this case let us see so if n mod 4 comes out to be 2 so this is a case where my n mod 4 will come out to be 2 then at i is equal to 6 also it will come out to be 2 i at i is equal to 10 also it will come out to be 2 so since you can see that from the initial position let's suppose that this is your initial position right so you can see that for this value you are moving one one ahead from the initial position again you can see at 2 uh, you are moving 11 this will give you a mod 2 i mod 2 mod 4 will give you 2 and at this value you are moving to 11 at this value also you are moving to 11 at i is equal to 10 also which gives me a mod mod value 2 uh, with 4 so it also gives me 11 right so if you are at this position then what you will do you will simply see out nothing but x plus 1 because you can see that from the original position x or x naught you can say so from the original position you are moving one direction ahead right and in the else part that that means that uh, my mod will come out to be 3 if what if my mod comes out to be 3 so let us notice so this will uh, this uh, let me just change the color of my pen so let let us see for this case i is equal to 3 for i is equal to 3 i am moving to 14 right for i is equal to 7 which gives me a mod 3 i am moving to 18 so can we observe something can we observe something let's try and observe something so what is happening 
your i value is nothing but what it is if your i value is 3 then you are moving to 14 if your i value is 7 so you are moving to 18 right so this is this is something that you needed to observe from this case so in the else part uh, let me move to the code so that uh, you are much more clear about the implementation part so uh, i'll i have discussed this so in the else part what uh, where i will be moving i'll be moving to n plus 1 right i'll be moving n plus 1 indexes ahead okay let let me show you once again so you can see that for i is equal to 3 if my suppose my n was 3 then i was moving to 14 right so where 10 plus i plus 1 right so this is this is the additional factor that i was doing so in my code i have written z which is my addition or subtraction that i am doing with my jumps right so let me show you my code once again so what i have done is basically first of all i have taken x and then i have taken the value of n then i just need to find the mod so i have stored the n mod 4 in y if my mod value that is n mod 4 comes out to be 1 then that means that i'll be moving minus n positions towards the left if it comes out to be 2 then that means that i'll be moving one position towards the right so i'll add one position to it and else if uh, if it is uh, if it is uh, let uh, also one more thing you will say that i have not covered 0 so for 0 if n mod 4 was 0 so if y value was 0 so that will simply mean that i didn't i will not change my position that is why i have not changed it and initially that is why i have kept z as 0 and after that i need to check that else if my y is 3 so if it was 3 then i am moving n plus 1 positions ahead right and sim similarly you can see in the question it was stated that if you are moving to uh, if you if your x the current position or the initial position is odd uh, then what we will do you will move towards the left right you will be decreasing your uh, you will be moving toward you will be jumping towards the left so that is why x minus z will be your final answer and similarly you can see that x plus z will be your final answer when the value of x or the initial position is or even right so if if you are odd then you simply do a x minus z and if you are even then you do x plus z right so this is something that has been stated in the question and i hope that this uh, basic solution is clear to all of you in case if anyone has doubt so you can mention that in the comments and i'll get back to your doubt as soon as possible thank you for watching this video and make sure to like the video and hit the subscribe button also if you have any doubts so you can mention that or any other approach you can mention that in the comments and i'll be replying them to them as soon as possible thank you